In this video, we're going to solve one rational inequality using a procedure that I've used before on other videos. So here's what we want. We want one side of the inequality to be zero. Usually it'll be the right side, but it really doesn't matter. So here's what we do. I'm going to add a negative 2 to both sides here. That doesn't change the sign of the inequality here, or the direction of the inequality. It stays less than. If you multiply, that's a different story, but here we're adding or subtracting, whatever your preference here. Add a negative 2 over here, this will be less than, subtract 2, or add negative 2, this will be 0. Now once the right side is 0, you want to rewrite the left side as one expression. In this case, it'll be a rational expression. So I've got a fraction here, denominator is x minus 3, so I want this denominator to be x minus 3. In this case, it's 1. 2 over 1 is the same thing as 2. So I'm going to multiply the denominator by x minus 3. That's legal if I multiply the numerator also by x minus 3. So every, so now we have the same denominator. So I'm just going to write this over one denominator, x minus 3. And on top then, I can just write the numerator. This will be x plus 2. And then here multiply by the minus 2. So minus 2 times x is a minus 2x. Minus 2 times a minus 3 is a plus 6. And that stays less than 0. And then I simply combine over here. So let me rewrite over here that 2 and minus, or I should say 2 and a 6 is 8. So let's do it this way minus 2x and x, that's a minus 1x, so just minus x. And then 2 and 6 is an 8, plus 8. And that's over x minus 3. And this stays less than 0. So again, the procedure is to make one side 0, so in this case I added negative 2 to both sides, or we can say subtract 2 from both sides, and we got this equation here. And then, of course, we multiply by x minus 3 here, this one here, to get the same denominator. And then we simplify the numerator. Now, once you've simplified the left side, then what you do is simply find the... So now we find the zeros of the numerator and the zeros of the denominator. That is, any number that makes the numerator 0, any number that makes the denominator 0. But you can see that minus x plus 8 is 0 when x is 8. Minus 8 plus 8 is 0. And of course x minus 3 is 0 when x is 3. So now we want to find the values of x. To complete the solution, we simply uh, create, create a number line. We plot these zeros that we got on a number line. So let's go to the next section over here. So here are the, here's the 3 and the 8. And we can think of infinity, positive infinity over here somewhere to the right and negative infinity over here somewhere to the left. Okay, let me rewrite the expression here. We have minus x plus 8 over x minus 3 less 0. So again, to get the solution, we need to find the numbers and make this left side less than 0 or negative. So what we do, we start anywhere here. I'll start on the right side. So pick any number greater than 8, let's say 9 and put a 9 where the x is in this left side. We want it to come out less than 0, but we're going to test it out first. So we put a 9 here, minus 9 and 8. All I want to know is the sign. It's negative, negative 1. And 8 minus 3 is 5. That's positive. So it's a negative over a positive. So if I pick any, it works this way. Then. If I pick any number greater than 8, I'm going to get a negative for this expression. And that's what I want because this should be less than 0. Less than 0 means negative. Now let's pick a number somewhere between 3 and 8. It doesn't matter as long as it's between 3 and 8. You can pick half. That's outside the interval here. You can, you can pick uh, 4, 4.2, whatever you want as long as it falls between 3 and 8. So let's pick uh, 7. So let's pick 7. So 7. We have over here 7. 7 here minus 7 and 8. That's a positive. 7 minus 3, that's a positive. 
positive divided by positive is the positive. So I put a positive there. And then over here to the left of 3, we can pick anything smaller than 3. We can pick 2, 1. I'm going to pick 0. So put a 0 as long as less than 3. You can go from 3, in this case, you can go all the way from 3 to negative infinity. On this side, it's from 8 to positive infinity. In the middle, it has to fall between 3 and 8. Put a 0 there, that's 8. 0 there, that's a negative. Positive 8 divided by negative 3 is a negative, so this is negative. Now, once you have the signs on this number line, you can just get the solution from the number line. So, what do we want? If this had been greater than if this had been greater than zero, then we'd be looking at the interval in the middle, positive. So, the solution would be everything between three and eight. But it's less than zero, so we look at this interval here and this interval here. So, the solution that will work in this particular case then is going to be. Instead of building notation, it would be the set of all x such that, I put this in a bar here, such that x is less than 3 or greater than 8. Because this negative interval here is to the right of 8. Now this is your set builder notation here. This one way to give the answer. Sometimes I'll ask for the interval notation. So x less than 3 interval notation, that would read, or could be written as negative infinity, comma, 3. You notice these are all open parentheses, no brackets. You know, the only time you can have a bracket is if there's a equal, less than or equal, or greater than or equal. And then here we put the union. So it's everything less than 3, and the union, of course, corresponds to the OR here, or everything greater than 8. Now, if this had been an equals here, then we'd have a bracket here. But in this case, those are the ways to write the solution. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.